G'day guys and welcome back to our channel, Nick and Helmy. Look at this, the best genie ever, right? No. Yes, it is. Because this is where I graduated and Helmy graduated in Macquarie University. So today's episode is going to be a little fun. Uh, we're going to battle it out to see which uh, university has the best food. <laughs> right? And I know we haven't been here, well I haven't been here for about 10-15 years now. So yeah, it's, a lot has changed. A lot of money has been pumped into a lot of buildings. Uh, we used to have tennis court and now it's gone. Unbelievable. It's all about money. I know we have access here from Kensington to Kingsford, so a lot of good food in Kingsford, but we're gonna be focusing on the campus life and the campus food here. And then after this, we're gonna head down to Macquarie and to see why Jonas W has better food than Macquarie. <laughs> no! <laughs> we shall find out. If you guys are a student here in Jonas W, let me know what's your favorite spot. All right, let's go. So during my time here in Jonas W, I was an art student. Yes, I studied media and communication in this building behind me here, the Robert Webster building. It still looks exactly the same. You know, a lot has changed here in Jonas W. They pump so much money, except here. <laughs> Unbelievable. Look at this. <laughs> Unbelievable. Because of art. That's right. <laughs> so we're inside now secretly. Um, I used to yeah. study here, yeah. I was in, this is one of the lab that I was in. <laughs> so nostalgic. Look at this. Wow. You guys using Mac computers? Nah, back in the day, it was a crappier Mac. Oh. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> think about 10 years ago. Plus, right, plus, right. right. <laughs> oh my god. This is my lecture hall. Oh, wow. Inside the building. I used to sit like somewhere around the back here so I, I could like at the end. Nah, just somewhere around here. So it looks like I'm studying but not really. <laughs> wow, you know what? Actually McCord have the same seat, so it's like this. And then you have this thingy, right? Which is like very small, it's like shoulder to shoulder. Exactly. It's probably the same company anyway. Probably. <laughs> so we got Professor Nicholas. Thank you, everybody. Remain seated. Yes, this is uh, where it all happened. Jeez, it's good to be back. All right, we better get out before we get in trouble. <laughs> oh, you're in a double business school. Yeah, so this is a business school. As you can see, look how lavish it is uh, compared to the media one. <laughs> of course, they're paying so much more. You know. So first up is Roundhouse. It's classic. This is where everything happens. I remember I used to play arcade games here. We have parties here. And upstairs, on the second floor of the Roundhouse, there used to be like a Chinese restaurant, but I think they said 2018 they closed, so damn. Down the bottom, there's Thirsty Burger. We're gonna start off with that classic, you know, Australian burgers, you know, and some wings as well, so. Let's see if that can beat Macquarie. <laughs> <laughs> and you know what? The good thing is that it's really cheap. Yep. So My we got the, uh, the wings, we've got the burger, we got a drink, and it's about $14. So. And the yeah. chips. And it's the right. chips as well. Oh, chips yeah. as well. Yep. Well, there you go. There you go. Helmy paid for it. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Helmy. And most places here around the uni as well, I see that there is discount if you are a student here. Unfortunately, I'm not a student anymore. Um, I need to find someone who's a student that's gonna give me a discount. <laughs> Asian, right? All right, there you go. Thank you. So here we have it. Our breakfast. $5 chicken wings, $9 combo right here. With the drink, the chips, and the burger. Pretty good deal. We're gonna start off with the chips, of course. Classic old chips. Just a classic salt and pepper with a bit of a paprika as well. Kind of salty, but more peppery than anything. But it's nice, especially if you're hungry, but if you eat too much, it gets kind of salty though. The burger. burger. The burger, of course. Let me see. Wow. Simple burger. There's no veggie. Yeah, there's no veggie. Just mustard, the beef fatty, cheese, the pickle, and some tomato sauce. Now the bun itself feels like the bun you buy from Woolies. Very crispy though. Mm. For the price you pay, it's actually not bad. You know what this tastes like, Helmy? This like exactly tastes like McDonald's cheeseburger. I'm not kidding you. 
<laughs> it literally <laughs> tastes like McDonald's cheeseburger, but with a crispier bun. Which I kind of like actually. The beef patty is not bad, it's normal actually. It's just kind of juicy, uh, soft as well. It's not your Wagyu beef, but it's still pretty good. And to be honest, it's actually better than McDonald's cheeseburger. McDonald's cheeseburger, the patty, sometimes it's dry as hell. This is actually kind of juicy as well. And you can feel that kind of fat, tea, beef parts as well. So it's actually quite nice. It's pretty good. Um, yeah, the beef looks dry, but it's actually not dry at all. I don't like the bun. I like my Macca still. Yeah, you just, you just want McCoy to win, that's of all. No, no, no. It's actually good. I am so biased. <laughs> yeah. With the wings, there is three sauces. Garlic butter, I think uh, chipotle, chipotle barbecue. barbecue. So I went with garlic butter, which is, I think, the safest option. It looks kind of plain, but look at this again. Mm, very oily. The chicken's a little dry though, but I think with the whole garlic butter, it makes it a little bit moist. It's just not bad. If you do come here, maybe order the burger. It's a lot better. If you order the chicken wing, order like maybe the chipotle barbecue sauce, yeah. something like that. I think you need a heavier sauce. This is too light. All right, so first breakfast spot is done. Now we're heading down to our second place. That roundhouse is so nostalgic. It brings a lot of memories. Now we're around High Street of UNSW here. They've got a bunch of new restaurants here and they're more like the fancy one, like Mamak. It's called University Terraces. Oh, it looks share tea. You have IGA. That's on the right. Campus. We've got an IGA on the campus. Yeah. Beat that, Macquarie. <laughs> Look at that. We also got Guzman and Gomez here. Wow, and Guzman. All right, so Guzman is like my favorite Mexican fast food in Sydney, in Australia. That's right. Look at that. You've got to walk all the way to Macquarie Center to get Guzman, right? Mm, I don't know whether they have Guzman in Macquarie or, Center. Yeah, I'm not sure. There you go. <laughs> Look at that. So fancy, right? This is all where the money spent. Yeah, I love this one. This is the best. So we walk around the block and we decided to try this Mamak village and they are like Malaysian food with some sushi as well and they also halal. Now, the funny thing is that when we come in, we're like, oh my god, there's our brother-in-law, which is Nick's sister's husband working here and he actually made a very good sushi. So this is not biased, but if you want to have a good sushi, which is also quite reasonable price, go here. Alright, so we actually ordered this Penang Cha Kui Tiao, which is recommended by him. And because this is halal, there's no golden treasure. Cha Kui Tiao with some bean sprout, egg, and ooh, some prawns as well. This is actually quite generous and for this portion it's like uh, $12 and we only order one because after this we're gonna go to the best uni ever, Macquarie University. Okay, got everything? Mm. It's like quite oily and a bit salty. It's pretty good but I still think Char Kway Tiao, you need to have the pork lard, so it's, it doesn't have much uh, wok hay because with the Char Kway Tiao, you need that wok hay, right? So this one doesn't really have much wok hay. It's pretty good for lunch, but you know, it's not the best Char Kway Tiao and we already expect that because this is, you know, in university. It's not too bad, Elmi. I should like it like that. Got the eggy bits, nice and warm. Chuck out there. Yeah, I mean like, you can't expect massive wok hay on it, but it's still pretty good. I think you're just bagging it out <laughs> because you want McCoy to win. I think this is a good lunch deal. I mean, if you add a little bit of the chili as well, it gives you a little bit of a extra flavor. Spiciness. For a uni standard, this is pretty good actually. That's yeah, actually not I bad. agree. I... So they do give you quite a generous portion, yeah. which is really nice. That's what uni student needs. Yep. Cheap, but fulfilling lunch. Correct. Alright, so they've got White House here. I 
can't really remember if it was around back when I was here. I think it was, but it wasn't really refurbished. Now it's kind of a classy looking heritage building. Look at yeah. that. Yeah. Very Victorian esque. <laughs> Love it. And it, it's a pub, obviously. Well, we also got boost juice here. Well, Macquarie, we also have it. Yeah, but we're cooler. <laughs> Thank you. This is my favorite boost. Green tea, mango, mantra. Mm. It's the best. Our isn't it? favorite. It's not cheap, but it's really good. Oh, we also have Subway, Helmy. Look at that. Come on. All right, getting kind of late. And we gotta go to Macquarie University. All right, so we're in Macquarie Center. We just start. Yes. This is Helmy's turn. Mm -hmm. So I know Macquarie gonna win because obviously we got like shopping center, which is Macquarie Center, and also metro station, which UNSW don't have. We have light rail. Excuse me. Just light rail. But look at this, yeah, this is actually the food court of Macquarie Center. Okay, so the first impression, as soon as you get out of Macquarie Center, uh, I feel like I'm in a forest. Oh yeah, this is green campus, so lots of trees, not buildings. But actually, there will be more buildings. And then we do have our own lake called Macquarie University Lake. I'm not kidding. Sure, okay. <laughs> Alright, this section looks beautiful. They've got the Christmas lights wrapping all around the trees. Kind of nice. I would imagine when the sun sets, it's gonna be beautiful. I'll give you a point to that. So I haven't been here for ages, like for years. And this whole area, I think it's called Macquarie University Central Courtyard, is brand new. They revamped the whole thing. It looks super, super brand new. You know, compared with like the lectures and uni classes, it's actually quite old. But you know, vintage is always good. <laughs> sure. Yeah. Some of the classes I remember didn't have aircon. So mm. yeah. Summer was a killer. Did you have aircon in your class? Some of them no. Wow. Yeah. But but you know what? Over here we have so much greens, right? So we have natural wind. Okay, I've gotta hand it to you. It looks pretty classy here. What? You got a Korean I know. restaurant here. Look at that. They got topoki, corn dogs. It's nasi lemak burger. Can you imagine? No nasi way. Lemak burger. Should we try it? Yeah. It's actually from Papa Ridge, and they have a very small place right here. And look at that. It's special, I think. Nasi lemak burger. Hmm. Look at this. Oh Nacho my god. It's noodle inside the university. I know they have one in Chatswood and Burwood uh, as well. In Chinatown as well. Yeah. yeah. Burwood as well. That's crazy. Now it's Macquarie University. I think I'm very good sales rep for Macquarie University. Hi Macquarie University, do you want to hire me? <laughs> Alright, so beat that Nick. Boom. Yeah, yeah, you In got boost campus. juice too. So what? But over there, there's like a cafe and then Indian food and Chinese food and Seoul origin which is like cafe and sandwich. Let's go inside. All right, I'm gonna be honest. This place is insane. It looks like a bloody mall. I know, right? So mm -hmm. mall in the campus. That's right. Like it's like Westfield. There's so many different like options for food and good ones too, right? Yeah. So we're starting off the tour here in Macquarie with some almond cap. Mm -hmm. It's pretty smooth. Yeah, not bad. Yeah. Very naughty too. Of course, because yeah. it's almond milk. <laughs> <laughs> you know the amount of stairs that we walk today is a lot. Like UNSW have lots of stairs. Unbelievable. Wow. 
this is like brand new U bar. It's so crazy. Normally it's like, you know, your kind of pop, but this one is insane. Like seriously. And look at the view. So we got the nasi lemak burger. Oh my gosh. And this is for limited edition at Papa Rich. So two milk bun, which is very stuff. And then I think it's mayo, right? Look at that. So that's mayo and ikan bilis, some peanut. Yeah. Yeah, and then fried chicken. And then look at that chili. Sambal. Sambal with some cucumber. And of course, mm, deep fried that. egg. Yes. Oh my god. Beautiful sambal. Okay. Sambal. Big bite. Big bite. I mean, I'm struggling. Mmm. Oh my. Wow, this is something very different. Chicken is really good, it's very juicy, but it's oily because it's like deep fried. And this sambal is really good. Just imagine if you have the nasi lemak, yeah, that sambal. And the egg is nice and the bun is also nice. Something a bit weird is actually the ikan bilis. I don't know about ikan bilis and bread. I still prefer my ikan bilis with rice, but overall, this is the burger, the Asian burger that you have to try. Ooh, this one. A little odd to eat ikan bilis with a bun, but I think what's kind of more odd, tell me, is because they put mayo with ikan bilis, which is really odd, really weird. I think we're better off putting yeah. a curry sauce or something like that. Yes. Maybe. Hey, Papa Rich, put curry sauce instead of mayo. I think that will work well. Mm. And ikan bilis, I don't know. I like the I like the nuts, but the ikan bilis, look at that. So this is the ikan bilis with the mayo. Weird, no? Yeah, yeah. It's a little it's weird. A bit weird. Yeah. But if they take off the mayo and the ikan bilis, this is good. Mm. The nuts is actually nice but look at this my favorite thing in the world is deep fried chicken skin oh so crunchy you can mm. hear it okay so honestly this is my favorite place in Macquarie Uni the lake look at that it's very beautiful and you can literally just sit down here and eat some food so we got this from the korean shop i don't know the name but there you go sausage because how many love the sausage and rice cake as well <gasps> mm. it's not bad like the sausage is always good, right? But I think this one have been fried and sitting there for a while so it's not too hot anymore and it's a bit cold. But anyway, this is like very easy. It's only $3.50 so if you're hungry, you can just buy here. And eat here as well. And look at that. I don't know what the bird called but they are super cute. The head is like white and then the neck is red. I was gonna show you my lecture hall, but it's closed. So gonna wrap it up here and look at this beautiful tree. It's so beautiful, right? During the autumn, got red and yellow color. And I hope you guys enjoyed today's episode of UNSW and Macquarie Uni Tour. It's not so much of food because we actually miss our own uni. And if we miss your favorite food, comment down below. Macquarie Uni student, UNSW student, comment down below. Yeah, which one's better? Which one better? UNSW. Macquarie Uni. Your anyway, wish. do you think we should do another two uni, which is UTS and UCIT? 
University of Sydney. Oh, that'll be a good one. Yes. We've never been. We're not an alumni of Correct. those two too. That's right. We've never been and we are not alumni. So it's not going to be biased. Let us know. Comment down below. And I hope you subscribe to us because you're going to see us next week again. See ya.